Hello, Cancer viewers. So let's get right into it. Just whatever the cards want to say. I just got a new deck. It is the Rider Weight deck. So let's see what wants to come out. Queen of Wands, Judgment, The Hanged Man, The Chariot, The Eight of Wands, The Queen of Swords, The Nine of Swords, and then we have The Seven of Wands. So I feel like you made a judgment call to, I think that you went after somebody that might have been emotionally unavailable, or you kind of took a leap of faith with somebody and you feel like they just let you down. You feel like, and this could be a past person that's coming back around to resolve this, but basically the energy I get is that, you know, you were feeling confident, you were in this queen of wands energy, this kind of fiery, passionate energy. The Queen of Wands is very beautiful, very charismatic, very attractive. You were in that energy, and I feel like you made a judgment call and you changed your perspective. This might have been somebody that you already were kind of unsure about. I feel like this person was probably in like King or Queen of Swords energy in the past. And I feel like you were already a little bit unsure about it. You weren't sure if they were just going to play the same mind games as before. There might have been third parties. You weren't sure if they were going to hurt you. But I feel like you made some kind of judgment call. And this could have been during Mercury Retrograde. Some of you might have gotten lonely and you might have decided to reach out to an ex or give an ex a second chance. It's like you had this new perspective and you said, you know what, screw it. I'm going to go for it with the chariot just charging forward. Eight of Wands is very, it's travel. You might have actually gone to see somebody. Maybe you went to an event together. It's just very fast forward movement. And I feel like something happened here with the Queen of Swords. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and then the Seven of Wands. Something happened. Something shifted that, that really made you quickly go from this very hopeful, um, excited, confident energy to being the Queen of Swords, to being, and this could be male or female, you know, take it as it resonates. You could be a male that's in these energies, but I do feel like this is the same person. So it, it's kind of like you just, you felt rejected or you felt shot down. It's like you felt like you just weren't really, you weren't able to stay in that Queen of Wands energy. So with the Queen of Swords, what happened here? What made you go into the Queen of Swords energy? Ten of Swords. Page of Swords, the Fool, the Emperor. Hmm. Okay, so I think there's miscommunication here between you and somebody else. I feel like you're thinking that somebody rejected you, but I don't think that they actually did reject you. I feel like this is somebody that you have a history with. And they might have put you through a lot in the past. Like there might have been a lot of rejection, third parties, confusion, emotional unavailability, just, just a very conflicting energy. And so I feel like the issue here is that you guys are just kind of on different pages. I mean, I think you both want to be together. I am getting the sense that you both actually do want to work on things. You know, this person is actually wanting, I'm going to look more into the emperor's energy but I think that I think basically this person either came to you or you came to them probably during Mercury retrograde, like someone's come back around or they're about to come back around. And it's like, I think that I think that you maybe just moved a little too fast and you didn't get the response that you wanted. So you kind of shut down and you got into this Queen of Swords energy like you see how angry she looks. You know, this is you. You're in that energy where you're like, oh, I just got rejected. It feels like it, it's kind of it, it's not as bad as it feels, though. I think a lot of the anxiety is kind of in, I think a lot of this, this fear, this worry is kind of in your head. I, I don't feel, this is either a new person that you're getting to know and they really do like you, but they just want to move a little bit slower than you want to move. And you might have these, um, you know, this baggage from the past. It's like maybe being rejected by so many people in the past, going through so much heartbreak where you might have these abandonment wounds 
And, and so you might see rejection where there isn't rejection. Does that make sense? It's like if somebody moves too slowly, you might just kind of be quick to take it as rejection when they don't mean it that way. For a lot of you, I do feel like this is somebody from your past that really just put you through a lot and they are wanting to come back around and they are wanting a new start with you. They want to pursue things with you, but they're just not... I, th I think you had higher expectations for them. Like I think you were kind of expecting them to confess their feelings right away or to, to move things forward quickly. And when it didn't move as fast as you wanted, I feel like you felt a certain way about it and you got in that Queen of Swords energy and kind of got in your head and got a little bit defensive. Um, and you felt like it was a Ten of Swords. You felt like it was like a betrayal, you know, ending, backstabbing. And the cards are basically saying it's not really as bad as it as it feels. What What is it? It's not really, it's not actually a Ten of Swords. So what is it exactly? It feels like a Ten of Swords to you, but what actually is it? Seven of Swords, the Devil, the Hierophant, the ten of wands let's see here because it's not actually a ten of swords but i feel like in your head it feels like a ten of swords because you have these deep wounds either from other people or from this specific person so it's very hard for you to trust this person yeah i feel like this is somebody this could have been somebody that cheated on you or there's some kind of sneaky behavior possibly even love bombing it's like they weren't consistent with their, with their actions. I feel like they were in devil energy in the past. Um, but deep down, it's like they did want commitment. They possibly wanted marriage with you. It's like they did. It's like their actions didn't match what they were feeling. And I feel like this is also just you. You wanted this marriage, this commitment. And at a certain point, I think you just looked at this person as like they're, you know, they're just toxic. They're never going to change. They're in this devil energy. And you put the burden down. Um, and again, this could either be a new person that, you know, has nothing to do with the ex, but it's just warning you, like, don't, you know, don't bring that into the new relationship. Don't sabotage this new connection based on what your ex did. Or if this is actually an ex that's coming back around that's, you know, changed and they're trying to do right by you. Um, it, it's like you can, you know, speak your truth, of course, and work through things with them. But don't don't if someone's trying to change, don't hold the past against them. You know what I mean? Like if you're going to give this another, another chance, you don't you don't want to keep them tied to the past. You don't want to keep them tied to that devil energy. If this person really is trying to change and if you really do want to give this another chance, that is, it's really important to find that that temperance energy, that balance um, to, you know, to stand up for yourself and to have your boundaries, but at the same time, not, not, um, keep this person in that energy where you're going to keep blaming them for the past or where you're just going to keep seeing them a certain way. You know, you have to allow this person to change. You have to give them a chance to show you something, but I am seeing that this person actually does want that new start with you. But again, they're, they're coming in as a page of swords. So they're a little bit inexperienced. They're not coming in quite as strong as like a page of uh, of wands or page of cups might come in, you know, so they are a little bit in inexperienced. They are a little bit, uh, I feel like testing the waters with you a little bit. Like they do want this. They're just not wearing their heart on their sleeve. It's like they do want the new start, but they're in this emperor energy where the emperor is emotional. Um, he has a very strong masculine energy and it could be male or female again, but it, it's like whoever this person is, whether male or female, it's it's like they do want that new start, but they're they're not wearing their heart on their sleeve. They're being a little bit more guarded, a little bit more cautious, kind of testing the water, seeing where you're at, taking things slowly. Tell me more about this, this Page of Swords, Fool, Emperor energy, Wheel of Fortune, Page of Cups. So I think that this person is going to become a page of cups, four of cups. Let's see here. Five of cups. Okay. I feel like this person, I feel like you kind of, if you do want to give this a chance, I feel like you have to kind of change your perspective on it. Um, and again, like I said, for some of you, this could be somebody new where this is just referencing someone from the past and it's saying when this new person comes in, don't just treat them like your exes. Don't just assume they're going to do the same thing your exes did. You need to find that balance. 
between I feel like this is somebody I feel like I'm talking to somebody that doesn't really have a lot of balance when it comes to relationships like where it's like you either dive in head first you know very emotional like let's get married tomorrow or you do the opposite where you kind of play it hard you play hard to get you're in kind of like a queen or king of swords energy uh, and it's it's kind of and I get that, you know, if you're a very emotional, empathic, sensitive person, it makes sense. You know, sometimes you just go through that. But it's it's saying that you have to find that balance. Don't play hard to get and just be completely detached. But, you know, don't smother this person and and try to move faster than than what how they than you know what they're giving you. You need to there needs to be a mutual give and take. There needs to be that balance. Somebody might be really into you. They might be really in love with you, but still not be ready to, you know, as long as long as they're making. And I'm not talking about like giving somebody that's emotionally unavailable a chance. That's not what I mean. This emperor seems like somebody who is actually trying with you. This emperor seems like somebody who does actually want to be there. You know, this isn't somebody who's emotionally unavailable. It's just somebody who they have the love for you, but they just they don't show it quite as much as you would like. Um, and I also feel like, yeah, like what I was saying about you kind of needing to change your perspective on this. If there was a period of distance between you guys, maybe this person left for a while, there might have been a third party situation and now they're coming back around. And they needed to go through some kind of karmic lesson, some kind of karmic cycle with the Wheel of Fortune. There might have been karmic lessons that you guys were supposed to learn together, but maybe you guys, maybe you stayed stuck in like a certain energy with them. And so they weren't really able to learn that karmic lesson with you. So maybe they had to go learn that karmic lesson with somebody else, or they had to go learn that karmic situation, a karmic lesson in another situation. Like, let's say this person was getting away with too much stuff with you, which originally wasn't supposed to happen. This is, this is just, you know, one example, take it how it resonates. But let's say, for example, you know, you were letting way too many things slide with this person where, where it's like this person couldn't really evolve and change in that energy because you were sort of enabling them you know like you you made excuses for their behavior so there was no real change so they they maybe had to go and date somebody that was a little more harsh a little more you know queen or king of swords energy that didn't put up with that and they needed to get a taste of their own medicine they needed someone to treat them the same way that they treated you. They needed to know what that feels like. They need to be put in their place. And it's going to be different for everybody. For some of you, that is the karmic lesson they had to learn. For some, for others, it was one of those things where it's like you were trying to help them make these changes and they just weren't doing it. And they had to learn the hard way. Um, so page of cups and then four of cups, five of cups. Tell me more about this energy. Five of wands. Yeah, I feel like they didn't take your love offer before. I feel like you felt very rejected. And I think at some point they might have been hooked, they might have been stuck in the past as well. But I also think this is kind of them looking back on this energy where they're like, damn it, like why didn't I take this love offer when I had it? Why why didn't I why did I let these cups spill? You know, and now there's like kind of this conflict and this tension between you guys because it's like you don't really fully trust them. And then we have the hermit energy here. It's almost like you felt like you had to kind of, it, it's like you wanted to be vulnerable with this person, but at a certain point you felt like you had to be defensive. You had to be on guard. You felt like you had to kind of isolate a little bit. Like you just felt like you didn't know how to trust them. And, and now it's almost like there's this tension and this conflict that's built up because you felt so rejected and, you know, because they took so long to, you know, they had to go off and learn these karmic lessons before they could really accept love. Um, and I also feel like for some, it's like they might have a different love language than you do too. So they might show you they love you in different ways than what you're used to. But but it's still built up. And I, I just feel like you're, you know, there's been so much, just, just so much crap with this person, so much rejection, so much confusion that, you know, now it's built up and now that they're coming back around, it's like there's this kind of conflict where you're kind of in this king or queen of swords energy. Um, and you might have even taken like a recent leap of faith with this person. And then, you know, you found out that it's like they've come back around, but they're still not 
moving as quickly as you would like. But but I am seeing that the Emperor here, what does the Emperor want with you? Like the Emperor is wanting a new start with you though. What does the Emperor want with you? The Magician, the Two of Swords, Death, That is the Nine of Cups. Six, so Six of Swords. Ace of Swords. He wants to communicate. He or she wants to communicate with you and tell you that they want... You are their wish fulfillment. They are wanting to move things from rough, rough waters to calmer waters. I feel like right now they're kind of in hermit mode because they're not sure how to approach you. So you might have been a little bit aggressive with this person recently or there might have just been this energy of... Um, I just feel like they're not sure what to do because it's like I feel like even though there's the, the mutual love there and you guys both want this, you guys both have very different approaches. And the thing is that you're more sensitive than this person. So I feel like their approach, you take it as rejection when it's not really... It's like one of you is more logical and one of you is more emotional. And, you know, that can be a good balance in the relationship. But I just feel like the issue here is that sometimes it's like even though the love is there, it's like you guys have to kind of. Uh, what is that quote? Like you, you don't want to hear things from the filter of your, like, you know, you need to hear without the, the filter of your wounds. Like you need to be able to hear what's actually being said. And, and so that's the thing is that this person doesn't want you to take them moving slowly or being more logical as rejection. They want you to kind of understand where they're coming from. Um, there's just just very, you know, the like, again, mutual love, but just two very different approaches. So I think for you, it's kind of important to take a step back and change your perspective on this. Like ask yourself, like, Am I really being rejected by this person? Did this person really tell me they don't love me? Did they really reject me? Or, you know, is this person just moving a little bit slower than I would like? Because I feel like with Mercury retrograde too, it's like everyone's emotions are so heightened that it's like you need to, there might have been miscommunication. There might have been something that they said where you felt rejected when it, it wasn't like that. They were just having a bad day or there was something else going on. And if this person actually like is rejecting you, that's this not, it's not your reading, obviously. You know, this is for somebody where it's like you feel like you're being rejected, but you're not actually being rejected. They're just moving at a slower pace. But anyway, yeah, it feels like with the magician, it's like they're trying to manifest this. They're trying to manifest something here with you. They want to take control they feel like you guys are like at this stalemate at this you know silence miscommunication crossroads like things are just not quite moving you know like not knowing which direction to take next but they want this transformation with the death card here they do want this transformation you are their wish fulfillment nine of cups and six of swords it's like they want to move this from you know rough waters to to calmer waters they want clarity and openness and honesty and communication and vulnerability with you they do want those things but I think if you're having this mis miscommunication and some of them might be like kind of some of them might know about mercury retrograde and they might be kind of waiting until like it's officially over to have these conversations with you because they're just like well I don't want you know there might have been like an argument or miscommunication recently and they're like well I don't want them to like you know, take what I'm saying as rejection. Like, I do want this, but I want to move slow. So it's one of those things where it's like, they don't know how to tell you that they, they, they don't know how to word things. They, they're they worried that if they say, hey, like, let's, let's see what happens. Let's see where this goes that you're just going to, you know, get in your head and that you're not going to take it the right way. Tell me more about this emperor and what he's, what he or she is wanting with you. Three of wands. For, yeah, it's like waiting for your ships to sail in. Like they are, they are wanting this 10 of cups with you. Like 10 of cups, nine of cups, you know, four of wands. It's like a twin flame or soulmate card. It's peace, stability. They don't know how to get you guys again, because there's this tension and because they pushed you away way before and they made mistakes in the past. They don't want the past held against them. They don't want you to hold on. Like for some, it's like they might've cheated or they might've done something and they just, they don't want you to, it's like they want forgiveness and they want to move past it with you, 
But I think they have this fear that you're just going to hold those things against them, that you're going to hold on to things that they've done in the past. And so it's just going to be this cycle of just, you know, miscommunication and in conflict and not knowing how to get on the same page. And, you know, you being triggered by certain things like, you know, just like I said, holding on to the past. And and so right now, I think they're kind of in hermit mode a little bit where they're 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 not. um they're not retreating. I'm not really getting that energy. Like, I feel like this person's still spying on your social media. They're still observing you. They do, the love is still there. But, but again, it's like, they're just not like, they want to move this forward, but they're like, they don't want to go in this. Um, it's like, you guys might have like a certain cycle together, or it's like, they don't want to, you know, repeat those patterns of like arguments, miscommunication. And so they're really kind of in their head trying to figure out like, okay, well, like, what, how do I manifest this? How do I show this person that I'm not this person anymore? How do I show them, you know, that I, I need them to not hold on to the past and to, to help me be this new person to give me a chance to like, it's kind of like they're trying to figure out how to be a better person and how to be the person that they want to be and how to be a good person for you. But they feel like if you're holding the past against them, they're like, well, how can I do that? Because it's almost like they kind of need your guidance to be that better person. You know what I mean? Um, but if you're saying, you know, well, you did this and this and this and you're getting triggered by these things and they're like, well, it kind of like drags them back to the past. So they're like, well, what do I do? Like, how do I change? How do I show them I've changed? Like, how do I manifest this? You know, how do I? So so they're really kind of stuck in their head about, you know, how to move this forward, how to get out of this conflict with you, how to how to um, respect and understand your feelings and understand, you know, why you have these triggers. But at the same time, like they want to move forward. They don't. It, it's almost like some of you are kind of like going back to the past and they're wanting a brand new start with you. They're not wanting to go back to those things. They're wanting something new with you here. The tower. What's the tower about here? The star. Knight of Wands. Six of Cups. Interesting. This could be because someone coming back in pretty quickly. Somebody from your past is coming back in. It's like they're planting the seeds and they might just... They might be coming in hot and heavy. King of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, see, again, it's like they are giving you that new start. They are giving you the love that you want, but they're in a King of Swords energy. You're hoping that they'd be in like a King or Queen of Cups energy, but instead they're in like a King of like reserved um, and logical, but the love is still there. That, that offer of a new start in the physical world is still there. That justice is still there. But again, it's your perception is that you have so much damage um, with this person that you're you're not you're not seeing it you're not seeing this offer you're not seeing this this gesture that they're trying to make this new start you're seeing the past you're seeing all the damage um temperance yeah balance is needed any more final messages here the high priestess the seven of cups and as always, I do private readings. So if you'd like a private reading, just email me. My email is dragonenchantress at aol.com. That is right below in the description box. And please comment, even just leaving a heart comment. It helps me get back into the YouTube algorithm. So I really appreciate it. Two of Cups, Three of Swords. I think you're just really afraid of abandonment. You're really, it's like you, you're not really listening to your intuition. You're kind of in this illusion energy where you're so afraid of, of giving yourself to this person again and having it lead, you know, end up in heartbreak. But is it actually, is it actually likely to end up in heartbreak? Six of wands, five of swords, king of wands. No, I'm getting that this person is actually willing to fight for you this time in ways that they weren't before. Strength, lovers, the sun. Sun is a really good card. Strength and the lovers card. 
so there is potential here, but again, it's it's can you tame the beast? Can you tame, you know, the fears and the ego and the pride and the uh you know, this is also about like not like taming that lion, not lashing out at this person, not not uh, going off on this person, you know, because there is love here. There is mutual love. There is really good energy here. But the high priestess, it's like you kind of need to use your intuition and observe, be logical, be observant, but be grounded, be be calm. You know what I mean? Don't live in the past like what this person if you want a new start with this person, it's like, let them show you who they're trying to become. You know what I mean? I think there needs to be a perspective shift on your end if you're going to do this with this person. But if you're able to do that, um, it does look positive. But again, you're going to have to find that balance. Otherwise, you're going to end up repeating patterns where it's like you might, you know, end up saying too much or overwhelming this person or saying, um, you know, getting angry at them and this person might kind of run from that. Well, I mean, like, I feel like in the past they would run from that conflict, but I actually feel like they are wanting to fight for you this time. So, so yeah, just try to find that balance. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs>